I'm Allison Stone here with Miss Nauman. Miss Roach. Randall Brock. Tina Combs. Hi, I'm Kaylee Evans and I'm here with Mr. Huffman. Miss Becca. Mrs. Price. What is your typical style of teaching? My typical style of teaching is very hands-on. We're in the classroom um, actually making recipes and learning how to work together and we're constantly working. We do, we do paperwork but most of it is hands-on learning so you can actually get into the project and learn what you're supposed to be doing um, with your actual hands and not just writing it down on paper. Do you think your class is easy or difficult and why? I don't think my class is easy or difficult. Um, we work from the start of the bell to the end of the bell. We do a lot of hand, hands-on projects which um, uses a lot of critical thinking. Um, I will give you an event that we have to do and then you will plan it from start to finish and we'll talk about it um, and then you have to write down recipes, you have to tell me where things go in different spots um, and we kind of work through it together and it's, it's usually a very well, it's always a very safe place to be because you learn how to work in this class. Um, so it's not difficult, but it is a lot of work, but it's worth it in the end because you get a lot of thank yous, um, you make a lot of good food, and we serve our school, which makes it a better place. Can you give me a little summary about your program? Yes, so baking and pastry, there's four different classes. You start with an introduction class with Miss McClintock, and then there's level two, three, and then advanced. I teach three in advance. Ms. McClintock teaches the first two classes. Um, so what we do is we provide catering for the school. We also run a bakery, which you can see in the background, um, where we're constantly asked to make food for different things. And we, we try to make our school a better place. Like we do things um, for catering and bakery to try to put a smile on our teachers' faces or make people want to come to our schools because um, the better teachers we have, the better the better students in education that we have. So that's our theory is we try to make um, our school a better place. We do lots of different events. Um, a lot of programs ask us to do different things. We run a bakery every Friday. Um, it's very, very fulfilling. Um, and that's what we do. <laughs> and what do you teach? I teach broadcast journalism classes. Do you think it's difficult? Uh, no, it's not difficult as long as you have a willingness to try something new. Um, we start out using our phones and we move to cameras gradually. Um, we have a bunch of different cameras. So as long as you're willing to try something new and, and figure it out and have some fun, um, then it's not too difficult. Can you explain more of like what, class, what each class does? Sure. The intro classes start out learning the basics of uh, framing, um, things like that. And we work on news style. So we make some newscasts. Uh, we work on professionalism. Um, how to do an interview, how to set cameras up, things like that. Um, and eventually they do the morning announcements, those newscasts we talked about, and then we work on some projects for uh, teachers. Then you go from that to learning how to do podcasts, um, how to do uh, more advanced newscasting projects, and then the third, or the top level class, third level, is video editing, where we do documentaries and um, school big, bigger school projects like that that take um, sometimes a semester long um, go from there. And involving like these classes, do you do anything with them after school? Yes, so we have plenty of students who can come after school and work on um, filming sports and highlights, uh, things like that. They get a first-hand look uh, on the sidelines to see how things would go if they were going to do this for a job. Um, and it's just fun. We have a lot of fun. Um, and I'm not really standing over their shoulder telling them exactly what to do. I kind of give them a camera and, and let them work. Um, which most students seem to like, the freedom of being able to, to do that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's plenty of things to get involved in. There are also some short film opportunities that are going to be coming up that you can get involved in. So if you want to put a camera in your hands or get in front or behind of a camera, uh, we can make it happen. What do you teach? I teach uh, millwork one, two, three, move four, the drafting. Do you think it's difficult or do you think it's if you come here from college, Easy, and you don't want to be here for their knowledge, it's kind of hard. What type of like, work do you do? We do uh, woodworking, we do some kind of metalworking, and machines. And do you, for this class, do you do anything after school? After school? Like clubs? 
No, I used, I think I coached here for like 12 years, 13 years of soccer. I helped with the FFA program. All right. And she, what do you teach? I teach personal finance, technical computer application. <clears throat> what is your typical style of teaching? Well, in my classes we do a lot of interactive activities. Career and technical education classes prepare students for careers. In a lot of our classes you can get jobs right with the activities and with the um, skills that you learn in our classes. So it's a lot of hands-on. Of course the computer classes are all different computer activities. Technical computer apps is Word, uh, PowerPoint, and Excel, and um, Outlook. So they, you know, they're doing computer activities the whole time. Web pages, the same thing. They're coding web pages the entire time. So it's, it's a lot of interactive. Now, personal finance is all about managing your money once you become an adult and start earning your own money. So they're learning things that they'll be able to use as adults. And, and actually, now, many people have jobs now. So um, I try to do everything sort of hands-on and interactive. Do you think your class is easy or difficult? Well, I guess it depends on the level of skill, but it's it's not it's not hard like a math class or an English class, but there is there is a lot that you have to, to learn and do, especially the computer classes. There are a lot of skills that they have to know. Um, it, desktop publishing is another one of the classes that I teach, and they have to make sure that they know how to you know use Publisher, know how to use Canva, and that type of thing. Do you do anything extra like activities or clubs? I don't have any clubs. Right now, um, I do try to help out as much as I can. I help Ms. Brooks occasionally with some of the things that she does and, and that type of thing, but I don't have any clubs right now. All right. What do you teach? Agricultural education. What style of teaching do you give? It's more hands-on than anything. Um, and the assignments? Very little assignments. Most of our work's done right here in the room because we do a lot of hands-on in the shop. We have a greenhouse and a meat lab. Um, do you think your class is easy or difficult? Medium. Um, do you have any extracurriculars or activities? Yes, the FFA, which is extracurricular. And what do you teach? Uh, I teach marketing. What type of work do you give your students? Um, well, we do a lot of work just based on um, just like how to like advertising, but we try to, I try to get more like project based to learning, but we do incorporate like videos and stuff like that. But I just try to make it as fun as I can since, I don't know, it is an elective. <laughs> do you think your class is easy or difficult? Um, I would say as long as you participate and get your work done, it's probably pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> what are all the classes that you get? Um, so we have like, it's a, like four different courses. The first one's marketing principles, which would be like the intro course, and then it builds up on that. The last one is entrepreneurship, I think it's called, and that's our school store. Um, and that's what you do for like extra curriculum Yes, we do the school store, and then in the next year or so, we may look into starting um, a DECA chapter here, which is like a, um, kind of like an FBLA type club. But, um, yeah, it's a that might be like after school. Might involve some travel. <laughs> what do you teach? I teach um, business computer applications one and business applications two, which are Microsoft Office classes, and also digital imaging classes, which focus on Adobe products such as Illustrator and Photoshop. Um, what style of teaching do you give? Um, this class is mostly an independent type class, so students will come in, they work on the computers, everything's on Schoology, so there's no textbooks, no other materials that have to be brought to class. Um, there's some lecture that are given, there's a lot of videos, uh, instructional videos that I produce that students can look at, uh, listen to to complete projects, kind of on their own pace. Um, new assignments every day, but expectations to have it finished at the end of the week, but you still get to use your own pace a little bit. Um, and then of course I go around and then can help independently when students need um, or have help have questions. Uh, do you think your class is easy or difficult? Well, um, I guess that depends on who you ask. I've heard both. Um, for me, I think that 
if you show up every day, you give me 100%, you do your work, I think that it's easy. Uh, we do a lot of work. We could have 70 or more grades at nine weeks. So it's a lot of work, um, but it's something that you can't handle if you put your effort into it. Do you do anything like extracurriculars or activities? No.